thank you very much. Uh, good morning, uh, well, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers to invite, for inviting me to this conference and for giving me this possibility to speak. Uh, we already had some presentations from the people who are dealing with data protection. And uh, my one is just next to the discussion about the platforms. So that will be something which I would like to drive more attention to during this uh, short uh, speech. Uh, unfor unfortunately, I, I, will, I will have to leave you after that. But at the same time, we have the mineral conference on e-justice. So on the developments uh, also with artificial intelligence in the field of justice and home affairs. So uh, EDPS uh, is very pleased uh, uh, to see the careful consideration which is given to data protection on the EU level and in all the discussions that we do here. And uh, it's undeniable in our opinion that uh, the COVID crisis has shown that the accelerated digital transformation is with us. It accelerates generally. And in doing so, it also has made the use of even more aware, made us more aware of the endemic problems that the current digital ecosystem has. Imbalance of power between the handful of powerful players and the people, the people who are called users by the advertisers uh, in society. Uh, real harms that can result from the algorithmic amplification, such as disinformation and uh, discrimination, and insufficient transparency, insufficient accountability as well. And uh, our de facto dependency on the private platforms as gatekeepers for the solutions, uh, for the choices that we do, and for innovation itself. And uh, addressing these problems uh, effectively will be equally essential for us uh, in the next year. So this is not only data protection that is dealing with it. These are the legal acts which are around and which are dealing with data and digital world in different uh, dimensions. So Digital Services Act, Digital Markets Act, uh, AI regulation, also Data Act, which is coming soon, or the draft is coming soon, and effective enforcement of all of them. And this digital ecosystem features pervasive uh, tracking and exploitation of the people, which uh, perpetrated is, is perpetrated by the handful of companies uh, with immense market power. And this has the consequences, as I said. I'm very proud that it was already in 2013 when we started to work on that as data protection authorities. First, I observed it as the um, user, because I was the National Data Protection Commissioner, and then as the assistant supervisor and supervisor in EDPS. In 2016, we have created uh, our platform to discuss the problem between different authorities, uh, which we called Clearinghouse, Digital Clearinghouse. And uh, it was informal network of regulators uh, from different fields of law. And uh, we gathered them in 2016, 2017, to discuss the best practices and the experiences that we have in this field. And this leads us today, when we have the situation where the, there fi is finally some sort of consensus on convergency and convergent application of law uh, to the uh, conclusions or to directions on how to deal with the ecosystems, but uh, operational and practical ones. So, of course, we have to take into consideration dealing with the results of our uh, digital clearinghouse uh, analysis uh, that integrating of privacy, data protection and competition is absolutely obvious. Integration does not mean to create one body which is dealing with it, but definitely to create the framework of cooperation on the national level and on all European level. Let me offer the example. The big tech companies relying on certain business models have diverted the debate away from the privacy issues by saying that this is about advertisement and about personal advertising uh, uh, rights uh, and personal advertising uh, needs. And the problem is actually much larger, much wider. It's a problem of stocking the people around the internet which uh, these companies are engaged in. The problem is the use of this data to generate profiles that the people can uh, rarely or barely no, nowhere 
have an access to and they have no way to contest them. We should not be narrow-minded and only focus on quantitative parameters for the competition. We have to take qualitative parameters into our consideration as well. This is already part of the current competition practice and it could be further broadened. And I think uh, Mr. Mund will be telling about it quite a lot because the experiences from Germany are really in interesting uh, and the data protection authorities are still interested in the follow-up of uh, the actions taken by, by the German uh, antitrust authority. Data protection authorities should support the competition authorities in developing such a modern and more appropriate theories uh, of harms. To this end, we would welcome the stable framework uh, enabling data protection authorities uh, to be involved uh, in some competition activities, uh, in some competition cases. I want to conclude by saying that there is no effective competition or protection of rights uh, um, uh, schema or framework uh, for digital economy, which is not connected one with another which is not uh, taken into consideration also the acts like uh, Digital Services Act or Digital Market Act. And uh, also the ones which is based only in Europe, only in the European Union. So the cooperation with the other authorities, uh, with the other frameworks and other legal systems is uh, essential for us. And I think from our perspective, the fact that Lina Khan has been appointed the chair of the Federal Trade Commission and uh, Alvaro Bedoya was nominated also to be the member of that uh, is a very good sign because uh, Lina spoke on the panel organized by EDPS early in 2018 at the Big Data Protection Conference in Brussels. And the topic was exactly the threat of the tech giants to the democracy, especially in this year, which was full of elections in the nation, on the national level. And she understands impl implications of this excessive market powers and uh, she may be joined by the persons like Professor Bedoya whose role in the litigation against the results of clueless use of the black box technologies uh, make us believing that the coming years the convergence may be observed in Europe, may be observed in the US uh, and between our systems as well as with the other systems in the world. So I'm really interested in the outcome of the discussion today. Thank you very much.